by looking at the source and really paying attention to how that's constructed. Focus on particular passages. Why is this person looking at this particular issue and describing it in a certain way? What can we take from that? What may be missing? What may be distorted? What may be narrow in its depiction? As you read the document and reread the document, you start to get the sense of why certain events or certain characters are where they are. They may not have happened exactly this way, or they may have happened in a different sequence, but this is a sequence that tells a better story. I think that's where being very conscious of how the source is constructed is really important. The second part is to use other sources. In the case of Russian history, there's been a real effort to combine what foreigners have said, for example, about the nature of autocracy with internal sources. And often they're completely at odds, and you can either say one's right and one's wrong, or more likely you can say the travelers are focusing on certain things, the internal documents are focusing on other things, and what's actually happening is some combination of those. What's there and then what's not there? What is this person seeing? Where are they going? Who are they talking to? What events? What activities are they describing? When do they start? When do they come back? Often there's a map. What are the important historical events that are happening in this period? I would also focus on what's not there. How narrow is their experience? Where are they traveling? How much do they know about the language? How are their expectations and perceptions shaping what they're seeing and what they're remembering? I think that's the hardest one, but in some ways that's the most illuminating. How is it that they go in looking for certain things and that's what they're finding? Who's the audience for this? Who is the book being written for? Why were they interested in reading about other parts of the world? And a lot of that involves knowing about the society in which this is being done. A more analytical approach is to take a particular passage and say, how is this directed at a particular audience? What are the assumptions that the author brings in? And 